Gary, the father, is playing the piano while his son, Gus, watches in awe. Dad, how did the piano come about? And how did people start making music? Those are good questions. Are you all ready for our next adventure? Yes, we are. Where are we going this time? I can't wait to find out. Me too. Let's go. Bring on the time machine. We want to travel back in time to see how it all began. The story of the history of piano and music should be very interesting and attractive. Where and when and with whom do you think they will meet? Paolo was a skilled pianist who lived in Florence, Italy in the late 18th century, where he was building a brand new piano. The giraffes were amazed to see how much attention Paolo paid to detail. Buongiorno, how can I help you? Hello, we're a giraffe family and we have come here from the future to learn about the history of the piano. Ah, I see. You have come to the right place. It all started here. The piano maker showed the family how to build a piano, from the keys to the hammers to the soundboard. He even let Gus play a piece on one of his pianos. Now who wants to be in my latest production? Me! Can I play Baby Shark? Sure, go ahead. Bravo, my young friend. You have an innate talent for music. I want to play the piano, too. Please. Of course you can. a lot. That means a lot coming from you. After spending a day with Paolo, the family goes to Germany to see Beethoven to learn more about the famous composer. <laughs> Over time, Beethoven gradually lost his hearing. It became harder for him to hear his own songs, but he persisted and created his own beautiful music. Is that Beethoven? Yes, it is. He is playing the piano. 
The family continues to watch in awe as Beethoven plays, with tears streaming down his face. He is making a beautiful piece of music. This is wonderful. The family watches as Beethoven finishes playing the pieces and turns to face them. Guten Tag, how are you? Hello, Mr. Beethoven. Uh, we've come from the future to meet you. From the future? This is absolutely impossible. But it's true! We have a time machine! This is really incredible! As they talk, the room suddenly turns white and they are transported back to the present. Beethoven never let his deafness stop him from creating beautiful music. He was incredibly determined and dedicated to his craft. But how did he know what his music sounded like? Hey, Dad! Remember when we saw Beethoven and he was playing the piano, but he couldn't hear the music? Yes, it was very impressive. But how did he do it? How could he make such beautiful music if he couldn't hear it? Well, Beethoven wasn't born deaf. He eventually lost his hearing but never let that stop him from pursuing his passion for music. Wow, he must have been really determined. You guys know what? Let's make music ourselves. Who knows, maybe one day we'll become famous composers like Beethoven. Yes, let me make the baby giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful and enjoyable journey the Giraffe family enjoyed. Join us and the Giraffe family to continue the journey.